Howdy, howdy, everybody. Howdy, humans. Hope everybody's having a good day today. <laughs> um, I just went to school. I just went to school. Got 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 some food. Lay in my bed a little bit. I played Hell Divers with Grape earlier. <laughs> I played Hell Divers with Grape earlier on the stream, <laughs> on her stream. Um, so definitely go. Uh, maybe go over to her channel if y'all want to just look at that. It, it, it wasn't. It, it, it was just two divers helling, killing some bugs. It was a good time. It was just a nice good time. <laughs> Actually, let me go ahead and shout her out real quick. Just give her a quick little one. Y'all just want to go. Uh, look at me in all my forms wherever I go. Is that is that our full username? Is that our full username? I don't remember. I need to figure this out. Is it literally? Yeah, it's literally just small grape. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and send that real quick. I would send that. It was unscheduled for the record. If anybody's wondering why the hell, like, oh man, there was there, there was Rizier, there was Rizier two on stream, and I didn't know it was it was super impromptu. It was super fucking impromptu. Literally, I thought we were just gonna be playing. I thought we were just gonna be playing game, and then it was like, it, 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 and then it was streaming. I was just like, okay. I don't know why I had that awkward pause. Anyways, <laughs> um, today's Harvest Stella, so I hope you all are, uh, I hope everybody's looking forward to that. I know I do. I know I look forward to Harvest Stella Day. I hope you all do too. <laughs> but uh, we are going to be having a little bit of a guest later on. They were originally going to be here from the beginning, but unfortunately they, uh, they had some things come up and they need to go attend to those first. But... Once they attend to those, they'll be showing their face. I bet y'all can guess who the fuck it is. <laughs> the picture the picture on the Twitter today was a hint of uh, who it would be. But, um, it, it, it's not like a big serious collab or anything. It, it, it was very impromptu. And they're just going to be vibing and chilling for a little bit. <laughs> but still, I look forward to them showing up. I hope y'all do too. But regardless... Mm. I'm gonna take a sip and we're gonna go ahead and get right on to the game real quick so let me just go ahead switch this on over there we are Harvest Stella Harvest Stella Artois I've already made this joke I've already made this joke and I'm going to continue to make it because I have like five strains of humor that I actually can think of <laughs> Oh yeah, we were in Shatola. I completely forgot. Shit, what am I doing with my life? Okay. I need to remember I'm not playing Helldivers right now. The A button is for selecting things. Uh, Bolo's Requiem. Should see the Summer Seas Light and Travels there investigate mysterious events. Speak to Hind once prepper. Oh, right, right, right. I need to go make, I need to go make a bunch of health shit. Rise meet Shrika, who resides in the town of Arjeen. Uh, decides to travel to investigate the bizarre goings inside. Do that later. Sina, Cress. Lots of stuff. Go to the Lathe Mayor's house and listen to what he has to say. Suspicious letter. Taking care of the child. Wait, I haven't finished that yet? Oh, I need to go report to him again. Durr. There's an unoccupied house on the edge of Life Village. Consequence of escape. Meet Lilia in Nemia tomorrow. All right. Let's go do those real quick. Let's go do those. Let's go take care of those. Let's go make these things real. But first, I'm going to go to Dur Duran, D Durian, Durian the Omen. He is all the way over there. Fuck you. Yeah, I, I have a mini map. What am I doing? Good lord. I'm like, oh, I need to look at my map. I need to 
Oh, in order to look at the map, I need to open it. Like, it's fucking Hell Divers. I swear, I play that game for just a little bit and it just ro roots itself into my brain. Like a fucking weed, but it's a weed I want to be around. It's a very pretty weed, like a dandelion. It's you. Did you return the child home safely? I see. You were right. I don't remember what you were right about. Of course. You said that there is no bond and no love stronger than that between parent and child. And don't let there be any abusive household, buddy. There's only a low chance now that the boy will come back to the forest on his own and endanger his own life again. <laughs> like that, how he admits that it's still a chance. I can now focus on my mission. Is that how you really feel? I'm here to be armchair psychologist. I only stay at facts and logic. You miss him, don't you? <laughs> Why would you say such a thing? <laughs> it would be illogical to form any kind of attachment to the little boy. Your kind and mine are not me meant to mix anyway. Yes, this couldn't have ended more appropriately. And you could have phrased that a little more appropriately, too. <laughs> what is this inexplicable noise? Maybe you started to care about him. Care? Like the bear that kept me right. But it's true that I am experiencing something that I am unable to put into words. <laughs> hope you figure out what that noise is. <laughs> yes, I hope so too. I want to get to the bottom of this noise. Oh, I am uncertain if I will find the answer, or if there's even sense in investigating it at all. However, that is what I would like to do. Let me know if you ever figure it out. Well, I would, but I doubt we will meet again. Thank you for this experience. I will record it firmly in my memory. Farewell. Me and my weird ass fucking shoes. Literally, I was this entire time, like, it's I'm just because the dialogue box was down there. I've just been looking at this man's fucking shoes. We got gorilla and carrot and, and seeds. Continue. The deeds. The deeds of the seeds. Deeds of the seeds. Amidst weeds. And beads. Arts and crafts time got very messy. <laughs> there are beads everywhere. Some glitter too. The glitter, that shit's gonna be there permanently. Back is killing me. Back is always killing me. Let's go to Bird's Eye Bray. We we'll go back to life. Silence fairy. Silence wench. How do you do? Can I have a snack now? All of you shut up. Shut up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Is it? Oh, it's good. Let's see here. It's the wrong button to press. <sighs> why am I tired? Oh yeah, I got up at fucking seven. That's why I'm tired. Very good for Miller Jr. I love Miller Jr. They are my best friend. <laughs> Must get to the mayor before he goes to sleep. Why must he sleep? Why do you have bodily processes that need attending? Just be dead. God knows it's knocking on your door already. Don't moan. 
Never do that again. Mm. Uh. Uh, I'm eepy. I'm fucking eepy today. <laughs> oh, it's you, Rise. Thank you for your help earlier. I truly appreciate it. Did the village get mad at you? I made it just in time. I was cutting it close, though. Either way, they still got mad at me. So I set them on fire. I'm glad it was you who helped me. I received some very sad news, but at the same time, something good came of it, too. More tinder. For my little streak. <laughs> I want to make the joke. Neo, no. Fuck it, I want to see I want to see the dialogue. What are you trying to get at? Bitch, I'm a pyromaniac, not a creep. <laughs> The fuck are you on about? <laughs> I was thinking of asking, would you continue writing in my place in case anything happened to me? If I die, would you keep in contact with that girl for me? Why so ominous all of a sudden? <laughs> Relax. I'm just playing with you. I ain't kicking the bucket anytime soon. Why is the screen going dark? Why are there two of you? Mounier recipe. Two quests taken care of. The other one. Vacant house. Fuck it, I'm gonna go over there. Down, down. Down we go. Down Z daisy. Uh. Right, they're faded, so they're not active. Foul feed. Feed maker recipe. We'll go ahead and take care of that. Eager Totokatu is stronger. Feed that strengthens the Totokatu, raises their moons, be in Luxe, and new actions. I can't get over it. This is the wrong way. There we go. <clears throat> go uphill. Hill steep. Hill slightly obnoxious. Actually, wait, the vacant house was over this way. I'm dumb. I have no sense of direction. Thinking processes are questionable at best. How the fuck do I get over there? This way. As I starve to death slowly. Because food is fucking expensive. Literally just some wheat seeds. <laughs> Hell, you're starving, need food, hopes so there's some in that chest, bitch, grow it yourself. <laughs> what should I do? I can't just leave it there, it'll cause trouble for sure. What will cause trouble? <laughs> oh, it's you, Rise. Don't scare me like that. Gosh! Anyway, I'm glad you're here. There's no one I, I don't even remember. See a huge bug or something? No, a ghost, a ghost! It's a weird voice coming from the old well. A terrible, scary voice! You don't believe me, do you? You go and look down the well then. Hear the scary evil ghost for yourself. Okay, get closer. Now listen carefully. Ah, enough. Ah, this be soon. I can't wait. All down. <laughs> See, you heard it, right? It said something's happening soon. I can't wait till it's all down. 
He must be an awful evil good. What the fuck just fell over there? Is that just a leaf? <laughs> but wait, stop it. Who's there? Feel for presence comes from the well. Eek, let's get out of here. We lost the ghost, right? You look unharmed too, Rise. What a relief. At least that sells it. There's definitely an evil ghost living in that old well. It must be saving its energy now to come out when it's ready. How about closing up the well? That wouldn't work. It's a ghost. It can slip right through stuff. <laughs> I won't use logic. <laughs> the mayor meets with all the villagers in the afternoon of the square found. Everyone should be there. I'll keep an eye on the well just in case. I'm still super scared of it, though. You make a start for tomorrow. Thanks, I'm counting on you. Well, I lucked out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Do I need to order a fucking... We had an energy drink today, though. I want to make it through stream. I'm also trying to get off soda. I don't want to drink soda no more. I'm trying to drink more water. But also, my lack of sleep is catching up with me. I'm gonna ring the bell. Bitch, you don't even ring it, you just hold in your hand and stare at it. What a fucking lie. Eep. Eep like me. Bro, you make fucking nothing from your food. Five days till quietus. Pick the letter from Estina. Check the letter from Asshole. All right, let's see here. God, this is this is a lot of fun. Everyone, leave me alone. Thanks again for your help the other day. I feel a lot better having spoken to you. However, I am still on edge. Dragons have started coming out of heaven's egg and we've no idea why. Would you mind stopping by my house when you have time? Come naked. I'm sorry to spring this on you, but it helps have somebody to bounce ideas off. I see you there. Cheers, asshole. Thank you for stopping by, Olya. It was nice seeing the children smiling again. It's clear that you're still reeling after what happened with Tidia, but hopefully things will return to normal soon. Oh, that's right. There's something else I wanted to talk to you about. It's rather important. If you could come back to the orphanage again soon, that would be a big help. Rum, it's Tina. <clears throat> I exchanged letters with the mayor for the first time, not his grandpa, but as myself. He's a little strange and kind of embarrassing, but I find him easier to talk to when I can't see him. That connection drew stronger this way, even though my grandpa is no longer with us. So, I decided to start writing to my friends who moved away. Because now I know people should maintain these connections we have with one another. From Sarah. You know, low-key, I've been, I've been learning that lesson too myself. <laughs> I was able to make up with my mom and dad at all because of that omen, but I haven't been able to thank them. I thought about asking you, Rise, but I'd really like to tell myself. I'm sure they already left the jade for us, but I'll leave a letter at the place we used to play together in case they come back. I won't go alone, of course. I hope we can meet again one day. That's right. Fight for your friends, Ike. F fucking character lore right there. We're super sorry for causing so much trouble. We apologized to your parents and the mayor, and they said it was okay. Millie could still mad, though. We can't let her leave like this, or we'll never see her again. But I think I can make it right. Catch you later. Oh, dear. Yeah, I still need to do those. Looks like some of the crops are ready for harvest. You don't fucking say, you stupid-ass bitch. I'm bl I have eyes. I still have eyes, you know. Artvistella has not killed those yet. I mean, the Quietus. Okay. Let's insert 
some tomato. So here's my plan. Perfect. Got flour, which will save for ourselves. A lot of fucking seeds. Story. Oh, I did not mean to hit sort, but I will take it. <laughs> More carrots. Actually, no. Plant the stellar wheat first. We'll do the carrots later. God, when do I get a bigger fucking hammer? I'm glad sleeping in my bed soothes my stomach. Glad to know I eat my pillows. Couple more right here. Perfect. And then we got all that in there. Let's go make some foods. Actually, no. Where's Milla Jr.? There's Milla Jr. Grab it. Where's that carrot? It's the carrot I got. The carrot I made my bare hands. There it is. Give carrot to Milla Jr. I cannot give carrot to Milla Jr. <laughs> Alright, fine. Back in the storage box it goes. Fucking dumbass can starve. They don't want to fucking eat. here. Ooh, I can make some new things. Let's see what we got. Ah, an ever sweet dusted in flour and then steamed in the oven, prepared with wild leaf to neutralize the fishy smell. Oh, huh, I didn't know people actually used leaves and stuff for that. Does it show that I don't fucking know anything about cooking? Let's make one of them. Less appetizer served in anemia using local produce, pneumonia, tomatoes, and cheese, and topped with cool leaf, a popular easy dish to make at home. Okay. A few more healing items. Harvest carrot, cook 15 times. Make some more repair kits, but right now let's do a feed maker. Brilliant. And add grain to make cluff house seed or grass and vegetables to make womb feed. I don't have either of those things. Can I place it not on the farm itself? Like, do I have to put it, like, on fertile ground? I don't feel like that has to be necessary. Fine. Alright, let's see. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so... 
Done a lot of shit. Let me save. Okay. God damn it, Miller Jr. You're blocking the way. Fine, you're adorable. Bye -bye. Where the fuck am I going? Tina's worries, tidings. Got something in a salt savant. Mode change two. Hence the skill mode change. Now what does it do? <laughs> it's just increase like the power of it. Do I have three modes now? Like what's going on? How do I get over there? I guess I just need to have the whole uh, constellation figured out. Get this job's Echo Stone. Things. Or things I don't know about. Okay. God, I keep forget. I keep fucking forgetting what I want to do. I, I want to look at quests and see what I can do right now. And I was going to go to the fucking haunted house and do that. Meanwhile, emo is, is slowly potentially being sold into the slave trade, but it's okay. Everything is fine. Human trafficking is fine. This is a joke. Don't kill me. <laughs> That was a joke. Playing on the absurdity of the situation. Humor, sarcasm, wit, funny, haha, -ha, funny. This looks like the rumored house, funny. There's no one around, you enter the house. I've already entered the fucking house. is in fact furniture who's there I've seen you before you're that outsider that just came to our village what are you doing in here I hope you weren't planning on stealing anything I came here looking for the ghost I think I'm stupid there's no ghost in this house get out now this is someone's house it's not for people like you to come in when they feel like it are you related to the owner? It's none of your business. Now get out! Don't come near this house again. Can we at least talk? There's nothing to talk about. Now it's the lady who sent you what happened. Where is she? And there's so many, there's so many arrows. Arrows point me in a direction. Oh, I can jump over that fucking wall. Fuck you, game. Can't jump off the fucking tower in pneumonia, but I can jump off. But you let me jump off a wall. Has some consistency. God damn. Dying to find out, don't get your hopes up. Don't become the ghost yourself. Check your messages. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I'm getting in there. Fuck. 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 <laughs> alright, um, I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and call you if that's alright. 
Uh, okay, three, two, one. Joined. Will she pick up? <laughs> Will the Milla pick up? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, big surprise, by the way. Um, Mila is who I'm having on the Harvest Cell stream. <laughs> I'm not at my PC, bruh. Oh, I'm don't barge into my chat. Being like, hey, yo, check your messages and not expect me to be urgent. <laughs> Do not come in here into my chat in all fucking caps being like, yo, dumbass. Wake the fuck up. <laughs> and check your fucking Discord DMs. And expect me to not be like, ah, shit, ah, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, let's do the thing. I guess we're doing the thing. Silly Millie. Come into my chat. My chat. And do that to me. How dare you? Absolutely dare you, Rosebush. And to finish off my ball of water. Because I was so. Joined. There we go. Silly. You are silly. Oh, I'm not. I'm normal. Uh-huh. <laughs> Likely story. Likely fucking story. How are you? I am normal. <laughs> Likely story. I have food. <laughs> <laughs> that food won't save you from your mistakes. <laughs> no, my food will always save me from my mistakes. It's called stress eating. Uh... I've been trying to stress eat less lately. Also, why the hell are you like on um the Fuji? You're like super faded, and I don't know why. I don't know why either. Hold on, let me try. Let me try redoing the uh. Let me try redoing the little link. I can get my actual oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, wait, I got it, I got it, never mind. I had dim others inactive image. <laughs> and oh. it did, it, but it did a lot more than dim the inactive image. Apparently. I think. I'm unsure. Help. <laughs> Ow. Okay, never mind, you're still I'm dimmed. That's a fact. Is it the crossfade effect? I don't know. The fuck is um, going on? Once I figure it out, I have to fucking tell people that I'm here. I mean, you're already audible. Uh, yeah, but I want to fix the thing. <laughs> I'm just imagining you, like, showing up to a house, like, and it's just like, wait, shit, I, I left something in the car hold up, and, like, you haven't even said hi or anything. <laughs> just like, hold up. Hold, hold up, we'll get, we'll get to that. <laughs> I left something in the car, and I just come back, and it's a fucking potato. Oh. I had chroma key on. You can make fun okay. of me now. <laughs> and I was getting my shit all booted up. <laughs> I had I I used the Fuji link for a video ninja link during a stream with someone else and I, I had chroma key with magenta. So the reason you were brown was it was chroma keying out like your hat and shit. <laughs> I was wondering. I I am I am peak peak streamer. I am so fucking good at my job. <laughs> you are peak streamer. Favorite I know dragon. I'm I know I'm peak streamer. That's why that's why we got mountains in the background. 
because that's how much peak we are. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, feel free to introduce yourself or do whatever you need to. I'm I, I'm just happy to chill with friend at this point. My goals have been achieved. Hi. Hi, I'm Mila. I do yeah. things. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm, 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 oh, shout oh, I'm oh. shouting you out. Oh my god. I, I would be shouting you out if the space bar worked. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're not following Mila, literally why? What is wrong with you? Mm. A lot of things wrong with me. No, not you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're all you're already following yourself. You follow yourself everywhere you go. This is true. Called my shadow. Exactly. Unless it's dark. <laughs> In which case everywhere is a shadow. Who's Sheeran? She's the lady you met at the house. Should I stream you the game on Discord so you have live feed? I would appreciate that, yes. Okay, will do. <laughs> Kinda hit I'm me. I'm watching your stream and there's a delay and I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Smile. <laughs> what is happening? I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Technically, I have to... Okay, yeah, it will do that. Come on, cap cap capture through the game, capture card. Capture, capturing. Please tell me you can do dual capture. Now I'm gonna cry. I don't know if it, don't know if it can. Gonna give it time, gonna give it time. Gonna give it a chance. Gonna give it a chance to prove itself. Just make sure it's not anything else messing with. I'm gonna do VTube Studio Cam. Say hi to no, Green. It's Green. <laughs> I, I was just. Ass green. Oh yeah, it's the sexiest screen. I like that one of your tags is uniquely shit. Oh yeah, you can thank the Circuit for that. I like you that. can you can solely wait. I can. There we go. That should work. Right. Turn off camera. Right. You have an echo. I have an echo now? Yeah. <laughs> like a bad echo. Okay, I'm turning that off. I guess I'm just gonna share you my fucking OBS. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a raw egg. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll just share OBS. How's that for you? One second. I have to move my egg. You have to move the egg? Does your egg have dragons coming out of it? Because that's what's happening to oh. asshole. Okay, I mm. see it. Okay, we're good. This will be fine. I this works. <laughs> I hear it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Can you like hear through it? If so, can you mute the stream? Here's fine. All right, so audio is fine for you. Okay, that, that's what I was concerned about. Through streaming it that way. Well, so long as no, we Gucci. Cool. <laughs> I've been summoned by the Rose Witch. Welcome in, Double A Killer. I recognize you from Miller Server. Good to have you here, buddy. <laughs> uh. Now, come to think of it, it's so obvious it was her. Huh. Now I feel awful. The whole village has been gossiping about her. Way to go. Welcome to the consequences of your actions. Egg is good. Good. Good that egg is it's good. It's chocolate. It's chocolate. It's a chocolate egg. <laughs> it is, it yes. is getting to that time. Easter on is on March 31st this year. Because we're I weird. Am. It is a Cadbury cream egg. I remember. I remember <laughs> back when I watched Game Grumps. Um, one of my jokes, my friend constantly said all the time, was just trade me all your Pokemon for one Cadbury cream egg. A Cadbury cream egg costs two dollars. You'll also have to pay for that. <laughs> he was just saying that for like a solid month straight 
This is great. <laughs> Welcome in Kratos that's Wrath. Good to hear have you here. <laughs> that's also not true. Yeah, Tiberi they're not two dollars. Are not they're not two dollars. I got this for a dollar and twenty nine cents. Take that game, Grump. <laughs> but the two is iconic. <laughs> no, sometimes sp being specific adds to the comedy. I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got it. <laughs> I'm gonna stick my finger up in the air until my problems are solved. He's here. You don't do that? He's here. I can sense him. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> circuit circuit um accepted requests on the two is iconic redeem, which allows him to duplicate them. I and I know how to fix the issue at this point, but I don't I don't fix it Goodness. because I want him to have his I fun. I can't hear anything. You can't hear me? Can you not hear me anymore? Shit. Hold on, let me... Alright, now I can. Oh, alright. I guess, I guess it was just internet being fucky. We are going to be stuck on this woman for the entirety of the rest of the stream. <laughs> no, because like, everything on your end froze, and I was like, no! Maybe it's my internet. I don't know. Sometimes my internet gets fucky. It usually doesn't happen when I stream, internet, though, so I'm thankful for that. The internet died when I pulled up the twi the the licorice. The li the licorice. <laughs> You're fine. I'm eating like, red vines. Well, my well, then my, in that case, my stream has poor taste because the like red cherry Twizzlers are the shit, bro. Red vines. Mm. Uh. She likes the fruit that grows there, but recently a new type of monster has come to live there and she can't go and get her fruit anymore. If you got rid of the monster, brought her some of that fruit, she might forgive you and open up a bit. People always warm up to someone who's helped them. Hope it works out. Good luck, Ryze. <laughs> Alternatively, some Invading people think it... Invading someone's <laughs> home. <laughs> Invading someone's home. He fixes yeah. relationship with fruit. Exactly. That's what I do with all my Not failed correct. friendships. I just I just throw an apple at them and everything is fine. Somebody left three flower out in the open. What am I doing right How now? Handy. <laughs> um. Okay. Is emo, so is, e is emo is emo still being trafficked? I forget. Uh. Oh yeah. Absolutely. She'll be fine. Oh, fish lady. <laughs> I can focus on fishwife later. Hey. Huh, she's just wandering. You must come and talk to me when you're going to investigate this. Okay, fine. I thought I I I, I, I thought I thought it was interesting you had fucking NPC behavior. They had fucking paths and shit. But now you just want to talk about the fucking seas like fuck you too, bitch. I want to pull her hair. <laughs> Not in a weird way. I just want to like yank on it. No comment. Because my comments may be interpreted in the weird way. It's like... It's like the thing that you pull on to, like, lift blinds. I understand your perspective. I understand your perspective of it. I was just not prepared for that. <laughs> Sometimes you just see someone's hair and you're like, I want to pull it. You know? I can't fucking say anything right now. <laughs> everything I can... <laughs> everything I can say would be the weird way. <laughs> Excuse me, do you know a man named Jade? No, sorry. I have this rock name that, though. Just throws a, throws a jade at her. <laughs> oh, hi, Rise. You're in pneumonia. <laughs> the intrusive thoughts let them win. I mean, they kind of just won. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> also, welcome to the stream circuit. Good to have you. <laughs> 
I was asking around for Jade. Since I came to Nimonia, I've been asking around for him every chance I get. But so far, no one has seen him. I wonder Sorry if to... people in Pneumonia like getting sick. I mean, we had a quest all about that. <laughs> I'm not ready to give up, though. Even if it turns out to be pointless in the end, I still want to know I did everything I could to find him. Besides, it's better for me to stay busy. Excuse me there. Yes? Check out this cool rock I found on the ground. <laughs> I was just looking after a man named Jade at my house. He might be the person you're looking for. Really? Where is he? Um, I think he said he was going to the observation deck. Thanks. Oh, wait, you should know something. It's important. What is it? Don't worry about that. Just stop He's her. She might, get a... <laughs> she might get a terrible surprise if she finds him. Please go on ahead to the observation deck. I'll be right behind you. This is man. You know, I. They, it went into my head. Like, is he about to jump? And now I think he might actually be about to jump. It is, and it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> I love that. I love that you just said, "Yeah, this guy's about to kill himself. He's a fucking idiot." <laughs> no, he's pregnant. <laughs> 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 He can't kill the baby, too. We gotta stop him. <laughs> he is Bragante. <laughs> Lilia, did you find him? I finally found you. You owe me five bucks. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear. Ah, uh, it's this plot point. Amnesia plot. Everyone's Lovely. favorite. I love it. It's my favorite. <laughs> it's my favorite plot point. What happened to him? It looks like I'm too late. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened to him? Why does he remember anything? It's fucking amnesia, you idiot. <laughs> He's amnestic. Amnesic. Amnestic? Amnestic. It's amnesia. <laughs> amnesia. <laughs> fuck, fuck you. It's an... <laughs> I don't... It was smelt in a weird way. <laughs> uh. Amnestic. Shut the fuck up, sir. Can I light you on fire later? <laughs> I mean, it was gonna happen regardless of what happened, but... I remember my name and that in some kind of horrible accident. And I was supposed to come to pneumonia for some reason. I don't remember why, though. Don't also ask why I knew exactly where pneumonia was. <laughs> Our directions... <Keep> teleported. <laughs> Our directions store... Like, I know, um... I know the reason people don't, like, forget how to talk when they have amnesia is because, like, language is just stored in a completely separate part of the brain separate from like you like your main like memory or is like your sense of direction the same way <laughs> i don't uh, know i think at least when it comes to like human development um i think it's kind of more about surroundings that may seem similar so like if you could like follow things that like like, once you are familiar with an area, I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out. True. Also, it just hit me that he probably just asked for directions like a normal fucking person. That too. <laughs> or I, Google Maps. <laughs> I, I, I have such a dad mindset. Because <laughs> it didn't even cross my mind to ask directions. <laughs> I just oh, refuse. I asking people for directions. I hate you said asking you people for directions. I hate asking people for anything. Like, if I'm, like, in, like, Walmart and I'm, like, desperately trying to find, like, this one product, and it's, like, I, I, I feel like I'm in the general area it should be, but I'm still not finding it. Like, I I will stay be there for, like, at least 20 minutes before I even consider asking somebody, excuse me, can you help me find where this is? Because I worked in retail I and I... You first. Go ahead. No, no you. you. No, you. 
Fine. <laughs> I, I remember last time I was inside of a Walmart. The guy who was working there, like I wasn't even gonna ask him anything, and he was just purposefully avoiding me. I'd like go onto the chip aisle and he'd run away. Like actually run. <laughs> and I Why? was like, I don't know. I, I don't know what this dude's problem was. He was just he was just like I was like looking for like talkies, and, and I was I like got the talkies. And I, I, I stepped into like the candy aisle to like, get my sister some gummy candy. And he was also in the candy aisle. When he saw me, he ran. Does, does he think and he did you... that with all the customers? He does it with all the customers? Yes. That's what I noticed. I guess he, he doesn't. He did that with every single customer. I guess he really does not want to be asked anything. And you know what? As someone who worked retail, I can feel that. To an extent. It was funny, though. Maybe not that far, but like, yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. comedic. Because he was, like, running in a way where, it, like, his arms were up and he was, like, shuffling. <laughs> <laughs> his arms were... Like, 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 he had him, like, straight up in the air? Or was it, was he, like, doing no, a like, weird, like... like... His, they were, like, at his sides and they were, like... But they were up and he was, like, moving them, like... <laughs> like a robot kind of <laughs> and and he just, like, he just was like I was like okay dude whatever man homie got the fucking NP like the NPC walk cycle <laughs> like the goofy player character did. walk cycle <laughs> literally he kind of did mm. oh it's killing me oh also, it appears it is time for our first ad break of the evening, everybody. So this is a great time for y'all to get some water, get some snacks, use the bathroom, do whatever y'all humans need to do. And we'll be back in just a few minutes for more weird Walmart stories and other strange tangents. So with all that being said, yeah. bye for now.
Howdy, howdy, everybody. Hope y'all had a good break. Hope everybody did what they needed to do and got comfortable with themselves and their situations, processed any emotional trauma. I know three minutes is a little fast for that, but you know what? Do we got to do? Do we got to do when it hits you? I don't know what the point of this fucking bit was. Mill, let's say something funny. I have pot pie trauma. Wait, is that for real? Yes. There was a time when I was 10 and I dropped my pot pie in a dishwasher. I feel that dropping food is literally was, the worst. I was I was cooking it and then I got it and I was so happy. I was doing the thing where I get excited and I flap my hands and stuff and I put it over where the dishwasher is because there's a counter above it and my elbow bonked the plate and 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 it went into the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got and the, and then I and then I got pizza bagels and everything was okay. <laughs> well, pizza bagels are pretty good too. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like dropping food is the worst, dude. Like especially if it's expensive. Like at, like I'm vegan keto, all my shit is fucking expensive. So like when I drop food, like I feel it in all, like every fucking like pore of my body is screaming out in agony. Cook? <laughs> have you ever cooked a pizza to a cardboard? <laughs> I have not done that. <laughs> when this happened to me, I made this pizza. It was the first pizza I had ever made as a kid. <laughs> and it was like a frozen pizza, so it wasn't like anything crazy, but it was still like a proud moment, moment for me where I was like, I cooked my own pizza in the oven. And then I realized, oh, I cooked it to the cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, suppo you're supposed to put the box on there too, right? <laughs> uh, kind, that's that's kind of what my brain was like. It was like it's got to be on top of something. Okay. Mom never puts it on top right. of not. Mom never just puts it right in the right in the oven. Uh, right. I was so sad. Yeah. No I problems. ate the cheese off the pizza though, so I made a. I made do. <laughs> you got the best part. Drops food. Ah, I see. So right. that's how today is gonna go. God, that's literally, <laughs> literally. Also, I've been clued in that I say literally way too much, and now I'm self-conscious about it. Help. <laughs> At least you're not saying it in a Valley Girl accent. I, uh, look, I already grew up in a rural area. I'm I'm one step closer. I'm one step close. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm one step closer. I'm I'm from a rural area. I'm from a rural area. Like just she's got to tone up the voice a little bit. <laughs> you need to put the fake nails on your dragon claws. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tempt me. I will. Have, and, and then like uh, and then put a bunch of fake li like get like lip stuff done make your lips all poofy which ones the the the, the, the face ones yeah which ones <laughs> both of them <laughs> you got you gotta become fabulous where was your mind going Mila? A lot of places. I, I don't think my I don't think I can be judged for the hair pulling comments now. <laughs> I, uh, to a, be that, fair, that, I've heard I've heard someone refer to the belly button as the stomach lip, so I don't know. Look what you did, Mill Junior had to stop and think about that statement. What's wrong with that? <laughs> You look what you've done to them. They're motionless now. Time itself has stopped in lieu of that comment. It was just a statement I've heard. Goodness. <laughs> so dramatic. Literally. Now I'm turning into the valley girl. Fuck. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally turning into the valley girl. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Literally, l l literally, literally. Like, 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 like. Literally, like, literally. I'm literally, literally right now. I'm literally littering. I'm breaking the law in front of the 7-Eleven. I'm literally littering while I'm loitering in front of the 7-Eleven. 
Literally. <laughs> I'm I'm literally literally on the floor right now. <laughs> literally, like all over the place. Literally. It's a dumb uh, bit. <laughs> it is. Uh, I'm literally little while I'm littering and loitering. Literally. <laughs> Can you take can you say toy boat uh, three times fast? Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Yeah, oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Try five times. Toy boat, Try toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Hi. Hi. Hey, all right. Give me a fucking challenge. Right. <laughs> um. <laughs> trying to dig through my memory halls. Um. Uh, don't dig in the place where your uh, sense of direction is. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, you know, probably uh, on account I'm of... I'm gonna Google hard gonna... tongue twisters. You're gonna Google hard tongue twisters. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta help the villagers with their ghost. Kid poured curd pulled cod. What the fuck? What the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> Pad kid poured curd pulled cod. Pad kid poured curd pulled cod. Pad kid poured curd pulled cod. I can't even say it myself because I can't like register the like structure of the sentence grammatically. Like, like, that literally just sounds like nonsense to me. I'll put it in the chat. Pad kid poured curd pulled cod. It is weird. Ugh. That sentence offends my brain. It offends my brain, too. <laughs> so a pad kid poured curd pulled cod. The fuck is curd pulled cod? The fuck? Hold on. I don't know. Pad kid when, poured curd pulled cod. They, 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 <laughs> like, I need I need to confirm that the thing you're telling me like exists. It's a tongue I twister. Even... Probably doesn't. Is a tongue twister? If you must is it... cross a course. Wait, hold up is a tongue twister created by researchers at MIT. It is so difficult that none of the test subjects in a US speech study could repeat it, while some just stopped talking completely. The phrase refers to a piece of curd that was poured 10 times faster than desired. It is considered the world's toughest tongue twister. It is often used to describe someone who is new to a particular online community who is not yet familiar with the community's customs and norms. Fuck are you telling me, brave AI? <laughs> Pad kid poor. Wow. Okay. Pad kid poured curd pulled cod. Pad kid poured curd pulled cod. It's not that bad. All right. Hold on. I'm I'm, loo I'm loosening up the lips. Loosening up the lips. That's what she said. <laughs> I I I, I take I, I I'm not even I I take no shame in. Wanting to say I would have. Wait, fuck. What's her name again? Arya. I take no shame in saying I would have pulled Arya's hair. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Literally zero. <Not laughs> your brain. You know that. What? I said you. You know I'm not pure brain. I mean, I know you're not. <laughs> I live in okay. the gutter occasionally. I'm all. I'm always in the gutter. I made the gutter. I made the gutter, and I live in the gutter. It's my oh house. My God, that my, was you. It's my. It's my real estate. Pay me rent. Oh my God! I thought you were just a giant rat. <laughs> <laughs> I can literally just put you next to both of these mouths, and I can just bite you right now. How does that make you feel? Please try. Oh. I'm a flower. I'm flower. Oh. I'm probably. I probably taste like salad. Oh. 
I mean, I'm vegan. It tastes like salad. Do I taste like salad? It tastes like a Cadbury cream egg. Um. Awesome. <laughs> so I just got. I'm just gone. There you go. She's gone. Oh my into, god! And, I'm and, tiny. And, and, into my stomach. <laughs> I'm. I'm gone. I am gone. I am. Vored, I am deceased. Vored by Dragon Man. Oh God. <laughs> Okay, I don't like that word. <laughs> I'm a Kirby fan. I hear it all the fucking time. I like that word. It, just, it disturbs me. It disturbs me. Disturbs. And you were getting yeah. on me for amnestic. <laughs> I said disturb on purpose. Well, you know what? I said amnes—I I said amnestic on purpose. Our topic of words that were mis were, uh, were, were pronounced wrongly. I went to school with a girl who pronounced refrigerator, refrigerator. Refrigerator. I feel like I've heard <laughs> that. I feel like you've told that story before. Or I've heard something in a it's very good. similar situation. Oh, you just awoke a core what? memory for me. So when I we were playing telephone in one of my uh, classes back in elementary school. And at the time, I was super into Pokemon. Like, was super into Pokemon. And, um, the Pokemon I was fixing on the most at that particular point was Rayquaza. And it was my turn to make the phrase for telephone. And I just, um, I just said straight up, like, my favorite Pokemon is Rayquaza. By the end of telephone, it had become my favorite Pokemon is Red Point Squaw. <laughs> guess what I name all my guess what I name all my Rayquazas now? <laughs> Beautiful. I named them all Red Point Squaw. <laughs> Red Point Squaw, yes. That's what it, that's what it ended up as, <laughs> and it never left my head. Every time I see Rayquaza, I see Red Point Squaw. <laughs> Red points. Red point squad. Beautiful. That's a sexy ass name. I know. Just like me. Is everyone alright? Let's see the here. Sounds Whoop. of mur Sounds of death. That was a walk in the park. That was a walk in the park. <laughs> Trying to think of a Pokemon. Oh, okay. I have a, I have a weird Pokemon story. Hit me. Yeah. Deck me in the face. <laughs> well, this isn't really a weird one, but it sticks with me because it explains why my favorite Pokemon's Crobat. Uh huh. So, <laughs> um, I was like, this was like when Sun and Moon was out. Like, uh -huh. original Sun and Moon, not Ultra Sun and Moon. And I had taken a break from Pokemon since, like, Gen 3, because uh, I just was into other games. And I was playing through Sun and Moon, and I had a, I had a Zubat on my team, because I was like, I need a, I need a flying type. Uh, and I evolved it into a Crobat. I, I had a female Crobat named Steve. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Steve was... St 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 Steve carried me. Steve, Steve beat the Elite Four single-handedly. Steve was just, just God. That, that's the story. And now I, and now I name all my Crobats Steve, and I try to make sure they're female. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you just made me, you just want, made me want to make a joke, but then I realized the joke was gonna make me sad. Make me sad? I think it would make both of us sad because I've seen you follow the person on Twitter. What's the joke? Steve the Trooper. Does that ring any bells? No. Oh. It, it was a joke from Chuck Condor's playthrough of Pikmin. Oh. Well, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't pay attention to any of that shit. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, hello there. <laughs> hello, Mr. Meaty Hands. <laughs> hello, hello, Mr. Fucking Gujitsu. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of like that design. Well, and you do, because you're going to have to fight a lot of them. Like, later. <laughs> gotcha. Let's see. It's time to light circuit on fire. There we go. As God intended. It's me. I'm God. I'm... I'm I'm spamming fire emojis in spirit. Please do. I'm saying in spirit because I'm f I'm fidgeting with a lighter, which is probably not a good idea. Ah, uh, you, so you're contributing to the cause. Quick, take it to your computer. Take it to your computer monitor, specifically where Circuit's username is right now. Huh? I got it. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, don't. Don't. Stop. <laughs> don't, like, don't ruin your fucking computer monitor, Mila. <laughs> I didn't hold it up to the computer. I, well, I, I like the... held the lighter in front of where the name was, <laughs> a distance away. Gotcha. I'm not that stupid. I'm stupid, but I'm not that stupid. Well, the joke was you would be that stupid, but I didn't want you to actually be that stupid. So, congratulations. I, I've, <laughs> I've, 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 I've dropped a Kindle Fire into a bowl of ramen. Mm hmm. You drop a lot of things very <laughs> frequently, I'm noticing. Yeah. You drop, you drop I've got pot a bit pies. Of a you drop pot pies in the dishwashers. You drop Kindle fires and new. I honestly forgot what you said you dropped it into. A bowl of ramen. A bowl of ramen. As one does. My mom dropped a one of those old big bricky telephones into the bathtub when I was younger. Like when oh, she God. still, yeah, when she still had to get nothing happened for the record. It was one of those times where I should have absolutely died by electricity. Also, howdy, Komodo. Welcome Hi. in. Good to see you, buddy. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good day over in Britain, T land. <laughs> also, like the Milia emotes. Dude, there's so many, unironically, there's so many mills in my life. Because I got a Mildred. I got you, Ludmilla. And I also got, and now there's um, Milia the streamer who pops up in conversation very frequently in the circles I'm in. <laughs> and it gets, a, it gets confusing. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Another thing that gets confusing is at work right now, we've got we've got a Gerald and we got a Gerard, and I get confused on both of them. And I just know we're fucked if we ever hire someone named Jerome. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm having fun at a film studio now, but I'm super exhausted after work. I hope you're well. Well, I hope, um, I'm glad everything's going fun at the film studio right now. <laughs> Uh, though I hope you can, uh, I hope it gets your energy back after, uh, after work kicked your ass. School kicked my ass just because I didn't get enough sleep last night. <laughs> uh, but outside of that, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm streaming. I'm my buddy. I got my buddy right here in front of a little rye who is, might eat her later. I'm not sure. <laughs> He's hard to read I'm some days. I'm more of a menace than Lil will ever be. <laughs> Chat, prove her wrong right now. Prove her wrong right now. I know you can do it. I know you want to do it. <laughs> if you ever play Yu-Gi-Oh, you gotta play a mill deck. I played a mill deck in Magic, thank you very much. I like mill. Mill's fun. It pisses people off. It pisses people off even though it shouldn't. <laughs> At least in Magic. In Magic, like, literally mill doesn't... It really isn't that big a deal. In Yu-Gi-Oh, you're probably helping your opponent by milling them. <laughs> uh, ginger lemonade to recover. Never had ginger lemonade. Uh, hi, Shirin. I have something for you. 
Razier is a huge menace I am, especially when I'm six miles tall. <laughs> I got rid of that monster in the forest. I did it for you. Now let <laughs> I me did. raid your home. <laughs> I did it for you, random lady. Let me go through your drawers. Dude, there's this channel that's been popping up in my recommended where it's like Spongebob and Patrick, but with AI voices and they're giving you like unethical life tips. And um, like a lot of them are like uh, unethical life tips, but like one, sometimes you'll just get one that just doesn't make sense. And one was just, if you're ever raiding and looking through someone's drawers, do it with an empty stapler in your hand. And like, that was one I just was like, what is it doing? What purpose is this serving? <laughs> and one of the comments, and one of the comments like it, down below, it was just me, a, a man watching me steal his belongings while I go through his drawers with an empty stapler in my hand. It serves no purpose. <laughs> Well, I mean, Correct. you never know when you could come across some extra staples. True. True and real. <laughs> Hi, Rise. You want to see an art I got made? Go ahead and post it in the server, CC. I'll look at it later. And also, welcome to stream. Hope you're having a good day. <laughs> uh, free to put yourself in danger just so you can talk to me. You're a pretty stand-up person. <laughs> you're someone who's easy to manipulate. <laughs> I'm going to ruin your life. I'm just like the mayor. I like arson. <laughs> I'm glad you're completely on board with that joke. <laughs> Thanks for the fruit and the monster. Sorry, I called you a burglar before. I was really stressed, but that's no excuse. It was uncalled for. I mean, I broke into your house, lady. Like, it's, it's kind of justified. Like, unironically. Literally, even. <laughs> What did you come here for a time? You said you wanted to talk or something? Talk about the rumor. I've heard that rumor. So you came to see if it was true. I'm keeping this house clean so it'll be ready for whenever he comes home. He's not dead. He's coming back. You have to let him go. The crash wasn't your fault. Because I'm his lover. <laughs> I mean, I fuck ghosts. I would fuck a ghost too. I'm not gonna lie, Sheeran. You seen Boozette? I mean, think about all the weird, freaky shit you could do. I'm all about weird and freaky. Have you seen the second mouth? Have you seen the second mouth? Have you seen the fact the outfit is made out of my body? I'll say to fix my sound effects again. If I had, if anyone ever made a bingo for my streams, audio Mimi breaks would be the free space. Hmm. There's a ghost lover in Jujutsu Kaisen. They're just like me, for real, for real. <laughs> See, before that house got abandoned, the man who used to live there was a mercenary. They got sent out of town on a mission once and never came back. He got murdered. <laughs> I killed him. It was me, it was me, Sheeran. I was the one who went and killed your husband. <laughs> Just so I could get random quest loot. <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> I played Fire Emblem Path of Radiance and nobody died. Mercenaries don't die. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore the fact I hit the reset button at least 50 times. Technically, if you want to get into oh, Final oh, Fantasy... Wait, that one died. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, if you want to get into Final Fantasy X spoilers... I mean, I don't, I'm not sure about Mila, but I don't care too much about that Final Fantasy spoilers. I don't care either. <laughs> Bad I just more. Mila, we need to talk about the way your content is shifting. <laughs> They're getting more aggressive. <laughs> oh God, the bad <laughs> Didn't your mom tell you not to put plastic bags over your head as a child? No. You found a ring with my name it's on cool. it and that monster had it? Resist. 
<laughs> no. Cece's cheering you on. I embrace. I embrace the Cool Ranch Dorito. Uh, sorry, I know nothing about it. <laughs> Can I keep it then? <laughs> what should I do with it? <laughs> gonna sell it on the black market. By the way, it's yours now. Do whatever you want with it. I will propose to you, Sheeran. We can be ghost fuckers together. <laughs> Real uh, on onion seeds. Everybody has so many seeds, but I see so few farms. Why is this? So few what? But I, there, everyone has seeds, but I don't see any other farms. <laughs> There's oh, no farms here yeah. in Lathe. But they have indoor heart farms. Maybe. I just can't enter. <laughs> or or light them. So much seed everywhere. Shut the fuck up, Circuit. <laughs> I like that comment. We love and hate Circuit here. The love and hate is about 50-50. Bird's eye bray. Welcome home. I have a question. I have an answer. What kind of chips can you eat as a, ve as a vegan? I mean, chips are as vegan. There's tons of options. There's like... Most of it is like your for flavors. You can't really go for the average brands usually, but there's tons of like vegan chip alternatives. Shut the fuck up, weed fairy. But um, you can't really have like um, you can't really have like your normal brands flavors. But there's tons of like alternatives out there with those flavors that are for vegans. Vegan keto is when it gets a lot harder. I would say just pretty much impossible i don't think i've seen a single vegan keto chip that was uh, an actual flavor but i've seen i've seen keto chips i've seen vegan keto chips but they've never been like any kind of like cheese ranch kind of flavors i'm sure it's possible but it just wouldn't really be profitable for anybody to do it and chips are, and like making on myself, it's like, if there's one thing I learned when I first started uh, being on keto, that's when I first started like doing weird dietary shit. Um, the smaller and like snackier something is, the more of a bitch it is to make yourself. <laughs> and it's just not worth it. <laughs> I've made my own potato chips. It's good. Yeah. Making them keto and vegan though, that might be that might be even harder. Mm, mm, I don't know. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know exactly about what keto people do, but Take for what I do, is, it's really simple. I just like like peel a potato and like shred it into like very thin pieces, and put like garlic powder and Creole salt on it, and then put mm. it in the oven, and you get like baked potato chips. Yeah, I, I like normal potato chips like are definitely like easy, but making them keto like potatoes are like really like um, carby, so keto can't have them. Old well, modus moto light. Search. It's too dark to see anything inside the well. I was tempted to do a second energy drink today because I was tired when I started stream. I decided against it, thankfully. What is your favorite food, Rise? My favorite food? Um, I regularly eat. I really like the pasta I make. The pasta I make is really good. I also, um, just really, like, I, I, mean, I haven't really been able to cook too much since I moved just because of money. So I'm like, my, what I cook is like very limited. Oh, there's this one brand of like vegan hot dog. That's like really fucking good. 
It's uh, my field roast and it's their uh, stadium dogs. I, I love to have those with some uh, keto uh, buns, which are also like vegan too. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, when I had to do keto, the fact I had to give up most, give up on <clears throat> potatoes was what hurt the most. Literally made me go, I can't fucking do this. Yeah, potatoes are <clears throat> like the old reliable fucking like just snack feel good foods in general, like fries, potato chips, all that stuff. It's just the good old reliable, so losing that help hurts a lot. I, I love too much. I can't diet. I don't have the willpower. <laughs> I would believe in you. I've done like short term diets. Like when I had my mouth surgery last year, I had to only eat um, like solid food or like oh, not solid food. I had, to, I had to only eat like liquid and soft food for about like a month. <laughs> And it was horrible. <laughs> um, but like only like short term stuff usually for me. Gotcha. And then as soon as I, as soon as I was able to eat solid foods again, meaning my stitches were were removed from my mouth, uh, I ate chicken tenders in the most See aggressive way ever. <laughs> mm. There's a there's a ve there's a vegan uh. <clears throat> chicken uh there's like vegan chicken strips i can buy that were like really good they're like eight bucks a bag though and i eat the whole bag <laughs> so i've waited a little bit before uh just buying those maybe i'll get those as a meal soon though i could probably cook those tomorrow maybe i'll either, I'll either do that or get the stadium dogs either or is like really good my yeah, braces i just gotten into tasting peanut butter and celery maybe just like not being able to eat certain things in general yeah i mean when you're involuntarily thrown into it it, it just fills you with bitterness i hate braces uh so did i yeah let's see what, how what long did it? you wear your braces i think it was either one to two years but i like i my, my like my teeth issue was like something I've never seen anybody else like had to deal with. Um, two of my teeth, like the where they are right now, they're right on they're they're the ones right beside my two front teeth on the top of my mouth, and they were growing on the roof of my mouth, like behind all my other it. teeth. What? Uh, I haven't seen anybody else have it. That's where they were growing, and I had to get, like, two molars removed just so they could, like, fit in. And, like, yeah, like, that's what I had to have braces for. I uh, had braces I, just for, like, gaps, and I was missing a tooth that never grew in. Oh. Uh, hmm. These days, I don't have to even use my retainer anymore, though, which I discovered because I forgot to grab my retainers when I moved. <laughs> Uh, and I realized that the tooth just was not moving, like, at all. And I, and I know my uh, my orthodontist said that I'd w at some point I would be able to not have to wear the retainer anymore. I was like, well, I guess we've hit that point. <laughs> I wasn't really keeping track. <laughs> I fucking hated my orthodontist. <laughs> Mine was all right. I've, I feel like I've lucked out a lot on, like, teachers, dentists, orthodontists, I, the dermatologist I went to once, just doctors in general. I feel like I've lucked out a lot on like all that stuff. Is every other person I talk to always seems to have no shortage of horror stories about all the adults that they had growing up. And meanwhile, I was just kind of like, one one of my moms was slightly more strict than the other. Oh, and my dad's girlfriend was a raging alcoholic bitch, but that's a different story. Mm. Mm. I, I had a doctor. Uh, <laughs> I had a doctor shame my shame me when I was like ten. Uh, it was really weird. It was a really weird interaction. Cause like, like I get when you're a doctor and you're telling someone that they're overweight that it's difficult, especially like a kid. Uh, but this guy who maybe was like sixty or something, and he came in. And he was like, so, you like chocolate? I'm like, yeah. 
And he's like, what else do you eat? And I'm like, I, I, I like fruits and, and vegetables and 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 and, and, and then, he was, then he was like, and fried chicken! And all sorts of other different, like, unhealthy food. And my mom was in the room when it was happening and she was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Circuit had the exact same thing happen. <laughs> it's cringe, uh, bro. Uh, bro, what is that? You have every way in the world to do that. Oh, uh, it's like so stupid and cringe. It's funny. That sounds like something that came out of like a fucking TV show. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Just like I could, I could hear the laugh track playing as soon as the fried chicken was said in my head. The fucking sitcom ass. I remember after that doctor's trip, my mom felt so bad that she bought me a fucking Hershey's chocolate bar and I sat in the back of the car fucking crying eating this melted chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> I was a, I was, it was a day. Just the fucking cut to end fried chicken. Oh my god. Uh, I didn't eat particularly healthy growing up either. I, it was a lot of mac and cheese. I didn't even eat really that much meat, I'll be honest. Like, I was so picky, I didn't want to eat like anything other than hot dogs and chicken nuggets. And even then, I got I, at one point, I got sick of chicken nuggets. Is how the fucking like, um, how the ice on the nuggets would like melt onto like the breading, like grossed me out and like it, it wasn't like crispy enough. I've learned throughout my life, I like things crispy and like more crunchy. I never like soft. I don't like soft shit. Like soft cookies, I will fucking torch on sight. Oh, but get I me love some soft cookies. Yeah, no, I I'm not. And like soft cookies, like the one, like the ones with like the frosting on, like like that they would serve in like um like classroom parties. Like that also was something I just didn't like at all. I thought they were gross. I didn't like how they felt in my mouth. I didn't like the texture. It was the same thing with like soft cookies too. But like, give me that crunchy shit. Give me that crunchy like double chunk. Like I'm fucking, I would I would used to eat that shit up easily and it was like so it it was like so to a point where like the cookies they sold in the cafeteria like they were often like times like under baked a little bit like nobody got sick from them by the way but like they were a little under baked like on purpose to like make them like more doughy and stuff and like everybody loved that i didn't love that i wanted that shit with like a nice crispy like outside and it got to the point where the lunch ladies were even like going out of their way to reserve like the most like crispy cookie for me because <laughs> they knew i always asked for it <laughs> they were very nice they were very nice lunch lunch ladies uh. I'll, I'll i'll eat your soft cookies give them to me I mean, sure. If I, if I if I ever stum if somebody ever forgets what my diet is, which happens frequently, by the way, like I, if there's one thing I've learned, I know I make jokes about it all the time, so it gets mentioned like all the time. But I'm like trying to make humor out of it. That's kind of like different in my opinion. But if there's one thing I've realized is that I don't think like that stereotype of like vegans never showing up about being vegan is like all that widespread. And I think it's more so just. Fucking people. I, I have to keep fucking reminding people. Everybody forgets. Like day to day, week to week, what the fuck my diet is. <laughs> I don't make it a secret. When I'm asked I may I'm or offers things, I make a point to like say and just be like, oh yeah, no, I'm like I'm being keto, I can't eat that. And people forget it all the goddamn fucking time. <laughs> I have to keep saying it because everyone keeps forgetting when they're like, oh, oh, you want these uh, extra boneless wings? And I'm like, and I just kind of stare at them. I just kind of stare. I'm like, what have we said like the past 10 weeks that you have tried to do this? I appreciate the offer. I do. How many times have I had to remind you? Ugh. 
But yeah, I, I like I it's like I don't even like buy that stereotype anymore. <laughs> Cause I've lived the reality. I think people buy that stereotype because of there are so many uh vegan influencers that are like that. True, true. Vegan influencers like uh, are like our cancer like uh, legitimately as a vegan i also hate vegans <laughs> if that makes sense <laughs> no i get it uh, like, like it's not even like, like i agree with the moral framework and shit you have and your lifestyle choices as well like oh, fuck like some of them aren't even like thinking about the moral framework if that makes sense because that's my basis for it it's the moral part of it and some people really don't even like do it for that it's uh, I, don't, I, I don't like interacting with like the stereotypical vegan and, and i don't even think like cc like you, you know who i'm talking about so like i don't even think omni <laughs> like interacting with the stereotypical vegan that's probably why i got banned from the subreddit <laughs> mm. Uh, let's see what chat's been saying. Though you were you were gonna say something, Milo. What was it? Uh, the thing is, is like when when it when it comes to like vegan influencers, some people are just kind of like, oh yeah, I'm vegan. This is a cool fact about me. But there are a lot of people that I've met personally, and like I'm friends with a lot of vegans and vegetarians. My sister is vegetarian. Um. But especially vegans in particular and vegan people online, I've seen like to shove that kind of thing down your throat and guilt trip you because you're not vegan. <laughs> I've had that happen where I'm like, yeah. I'm like sitting and I'm like just talking to this person and then it's like, oh, you got chicken? Yeah, I got chicken. What's, yeah. what's wrong with my chicken? <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> I will say, like I said, I do it for the moral thing, like for the moral, like, uh, part of it. Um, like when it comes to like those situations, unless I know this person's like going to hear me out and like hear my arguments, like, like whenever somebody like squares up to me is like, eh, like, why do you eat? Why do you not want to eat animals? And I'm like, if we can come to the agreement that if I can like, disprove every one of your arguments and show you why those are logically inconsistent and stuff would you be willing to change your diet to reflect that and if they say no then i don't even waste my time so like, i like i kind of read the room on when to like bring that bring that stuff up and if it's like like if, if it's like been brought up and stuff but like outside of that like i don't go out of my way to like make this thing i don't think anything like, that should really be, like, a core, like, trait of your personality, if that makes sense. Hmm. Uh, argument is, uh, meat good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Dude, these types of stereotypes have when the thing is in common, like the Linux versus Windows thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, not one thing in existence should be a core trait. Yeah, exactly. Circuit gets me. Anyways, let's read the rest of Cress's letter. Maybe, or maybe like someone's fucking dying and they need life saving medicine or some shit. Uh, whatever the fuck. <laughs> this, this stream has not been about Harvestella. It's not. Uh, it is not. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, Mila's gonna love like vibing with Harvestella and we're just like together and we're talking about stuff and like here we are talking about sh shit like fucking pulling Arya's hair. Um, these tangents in the vegan stuff, the, uh, other things that I've forgotten at this point. <laughs> I'm not normal. You should have expected this. Uh, I did expect it, and I love it. <laughs> uh, laid them at my parents' grave. I'm sure I'll make them happy. I have another regrets. This guy, could you please take it directly to Mary House? He's well. Just bring two pink aloe when you can. You can find them at your step. It's tangently related. <laughs> Uh, actually, his favorite, so I'd like to have some ready for whenever he decides to come back. You were such a huge help. I heard from a trailing merchant that two soldiers were seen over by the New York Step. I remember they was part of a two-man team. If you meet them, would you tell them about me? There's a good chance they're not the same person, but still. I collect two pink aloe. Maybe I already have pink aloe. You ever think about that? 
I have seven. I have seven pink aloe, you fucking poverty, poverty bitch. Look at my wealth of pink aloe compared to you. See you later. Shut up, weed fairy. I'm sorry, poverty pink aloe. I have bought a simple rose witch. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all that fake pink aloe you're wearing. You think this compensates? It's not pink aloe, it's fucking cotton candy. <laughs> Can I eat it? No. Please? No. Please? It's my clothes, no. You have more? No, I don't. <laughs> so you are poor. You only have one pair of clothes. <laughs> They're magic, though. You have more magic. Man, you must have some. <laughs> you must have some know, problems in the summer. <laughs> I do. Well, I can take off my pants. That's okay. <laughs> Sorry for making you come all this way to my house, Chris. Don't be silly. I'm the only doctor in the village, so it's only natural to come around. If I ever die, y'all are gonna die with me. <laughs> Rise, I'm glad to see you looking so well. Uh, brought ingredients for the medicine. Just, I was just looking for a new arson buddy. <laughs> the doctor won't come with me. She says that's illegal. I think she's a little bitch. <laughs> he hurt his back trying to lift something heavy again. It was a box of dynamite. <laughs> Arson is going to terrorism. Right. He's evolving. He needs to be stopped. I'm not curing him. This, this is for a this is for a poison. This, this aloe is not for is not for heal, helping me. It's fuel for my flamethrower. <laughs> uh, did you know they buffed that in the recent patch in Helldivers 2? It's my favorite weapon. <laughs> I use nothing but the flamethrower. Yes, that's right. Grandpa's and, a gamer. And napalm. Which I also used on that orphanage in pneumonia. I fucking hate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Could I have any ingredients you got us for the napalm, please? There you go. <laughs> There's your drugs. Merry Christmas. Uh, here's your drugs. Can we have sex now? <laughs> Whoa! Oh. <laughs> and you too. Thanks for finding us the ingredients. Care to play Hell Divers later? <laughs> My PC can't run it. It keeps bursting into flames. I refuse to put fans in it. <laughs> so it could burst into flames. Or if you would like to play a more safe game, why don't we play Club Penguin? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean it's gone? It's right here on my phone. <laughs> Uh, what was Crest like as a kid? Let's get let's get the tea. Let's get the embarrassing stories. Yeah, I took over. Was a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing fucking changes in this godforsaken town. <laughs> Why do you think I have to burnish everything down just to feel something? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that part hasn't changed. Ho ho ho. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perhaps I just thought she was trying too hard to act grown up, though. Oh, how time flies, much like the embers of a flame. Oh. I love that we're talking about fire and I've got a candle lit right now. Yeah. I've thought about contacting that candle uh, company you got yours through. I'm not sure what my candle mm. would smell like. Lemon, obviously. That would be part of it. It's, it's, it's free, by the way. 
like doing to like make a candle? Uh, it's free what? It's free to like actually have them make the candle. Oh, gotcha. Maybe. I'm thinking about it. You got one. Uh, another VTuber I follow, uh, Cherry Beery, she got one. So maybe. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Sorry, I was just curious. You do know what curiosity did to the cat, right? Set it on fire? <laughs> Now here's your medicine, it'll ease your back pain. That hat is good, you know. <laughs> that hat is old news, Grandpa. Get with the times. Throw on a top hat. <laughs> I have read none of this fucking dialogue. His hat kind of looks like an ice pack. <laughs> we gotta keep that hot head cool somehow. <laughs> uh, that was a good one. If you were actually beside me, I'd fist bump you. I'm just gonna punch the mon. I'm just gonna punch the part part of the monitor where you are. <laughs> I'm no. Sorry, you've been decked full force. Enjoy the dislocated jaw, dumbass. I don't have a jaw. Wise I'm man's quiet. root. What if you were a Venus flytrap, though? You'd have jaws then. Ever think about that, Bob huh? Not. Just a few genetic modifications and we can get you there. Just get Spending just a rose bush. Just get on the table, Milla. Don't mind all the sharp pointy objects. Just get on the table. It is definitely not a surgery not. table. I trust a bed of nails more than that table. <laughs> I mean, a bed of nails is like almost like kind of perfectly safe, funnily enough. Oh yes, rise. What is it? You want to talk to Amir? Well, he I should be here like any minute. Sleep. I just Sorry wouldn't sleep you. like naked on a bed of nails. <laughs> but acupuncture. Yeah, but blood. But it wouldn't puncture because all the like the surface like area. Like like there's not enough like force on an individual nail because there's so many nails holding you up. That's why it's like safe. Physics. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm still not now trusting that bed. <laughs> <laughs> While you weren't looking, I strapped you to it. Now to begin the surgery. No! <laughs> By the looks of the bite marks, it's gotta be mice. I traced the droppings and it looks like their nest was inside the old wall. Oh shit, are we fighting the Rat King? We're fighting the Rat King? Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. The rats made me crazy. <laughs> and noise here, we're probably coming for the mice that settled inside the well. We were just discovering how to deal with them with the mare. Why don't we cover it up? Yeah, it's not a bad idea. It's safer for the kids anyway. Wouldn't want them falling down there. Absolutely it's not. A <laughs> it's a government cover up. <laughs> Literally. Had old wells are reserved. Anything happens to the model of light. If anything happens to the monolite, we can't just cover it up. So we leave the mouse nest down there? Certainly not. The last thing we want to do is let them continue wrecking havoc. Throw a stick of dynamite down there, that'll take care of it. <laughs> the ending of this quest is actually kind of funny. Uh, I can't wait for it, then. Of course I would, because of those dawn mice, my exquisite <laughs> flamethrower. But I ask you a favor. I need to make an extra strong mouse repellent. It's not gasoline, I promise. 
There are some monsters in Higan Canyon called Chlorages. The slum can be used to make powerful mass repellent. They're a bit dangerous. You'll be fine. I'll leave it to you. <laughs> and this flamethrower I found. <laughs> it didn't come from my house. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Okie dokie. It is time for another ad break real quick. So this is going to be a great opportunity for y'all to go ahead, get some water, get some snacks, use the bathroom, do whatever y'all humans need to do. And as soon as that's all done, we'll be back in just a minute, me and the mill mill. So with all that being said, Sad. bye for now.
Howdy, howdy, everybody. Welcome back. Hope you all had a good break. Hope everybody had a good time. Got all the things they need to get done done. I'm recalibrating real quick. Forgot to do that when I sat down. <laughs> VTuber moment. <laughs> uh, well, I had a good break. She was munching on chips, and I could hear every single crunch. I have Twizzlers in my mouth that look like walrus teeth. This sounds adorable. <laughs> I need to defeat Chlorogels. It's another quest. All of this is just me buying time while I build up my heal reserves. <laughs> Meanwhile, Emo is getting forcibly put into OnlyFans. <laughs> no, I thought we established it was OnlyFans. OnlyFans, you're right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me, Mill Mill. Don't How kill me. Kind of you? I'm, I'm sorry, okay? If I talk to this child, will you feel better? No! <laughs> uh, what if I make fun of him? That's better! <laughs> Just that that's better! <laughs> Yeah. I haven't even pulled any. I thought he said pants at first. Vent disappeared. <laughs> Vent disappeared. <laughs> I saw him in. I saw him in. Um. I saw him in medical last. What could he have done to get away like that without a trace? What could Vent have, have done? Been. It's pretty suspicious, wouldn't you say? <laughs> I wouldn't say it's suspicious, I would say it's sus. <laughs> That's a short a form baka. of suspicious. A sussy baka. <laughs> Vent vented. <laughs> Circuit is posting the forbidden character. Beautiful. Have you seen that meme of the guy going sussy baka? <laughs> I have not, and I'm glad I have not. It's really funny. <laughs> I like um, it. Okay, you know what? I'll trust your opinion. You can send it to me. It, it's just it's just a cringe video. That's all it is. It's just this guy. <laughs> like going like, sussy. You're such a sussy. <laughs> <laughs> I think your mic peaked on the baka. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> so you're was so, being a little I, too loud. It was just, you're such a sussy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm a chicken, baka. Hmm. If you're a chicken, can you get in the pen so I can have a chicken to feed? No. Please. I don't want to eat the chicken food. Fine, I'll unprocess it for you. It has to be corn on the cob that's like actually boiled. I'm being a picky chicken. Best I can do is steamed. No. Then starve. I will not join the the, the, the cult of chicken you... then. <laughs> I, was I don't gonna, know where I'm going I, with this. I was putting you in the fucking chicken pen. You're going to be livestock. A wild animal. Can chicken even break down corn? I don't think it can, actually. I think it's a no. thing. So you were starving no matter what. <laughs> Finding where vent vented is our top priority. Come on, pull yourself together, Van. An investigation, like Ace Attorney. That will be played on Rise Ear 2 tomorrow at 7 p.m. EST. what he said exactly shameless self promo in my own channel <laughs> nice ad <laughs> boss <laughs> well minecraft successfully updated thanks switch <laughs> very cool what's next you're gonna tell me your my your friends are my, my friends are online i mean maybe do you remember the Meavers? Yes. Don't I miss it. 
Don't talk to me about me. Have I wa Are these all watered? They don't look watered. And let me harvest I this. Me too. But uh, as soon as I as soon as I sort all my shit, and these fairies shut the fuck up, I have a hell of a meverse story for you. Uh, I'm uh, I'm out of I have too much shit. Hold up. I like me a nice meverse story. Yeah, I just need to I I need to sort out my shit. Wise man's root. There we go. You cumble. <laughs> <laughs> you and the fucking cucumbles. It's a funny word. It is funny. Just like me. I'm a funny man. Just, this is true, you're hilarious. I know. I'm the funniest person on earth, didn't you hear? I have heard. And that is why I laugh at your jokes. As you should. Or anything else is treason and you will die. Oh. Does that mean I don't get my water? When... When was water brought up? <laughs> I don't know. I'm... I'm <laughs> Right, 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 because I didn't take an improv class, so I am stupid, and I don't roll at punches. <laughs> I'm just saying shit, bro. <laughs> and I should just be saying shit back, because that's how improv works. Meow. Uh, wolf. This guy... <laughs> this guy... This guy never RP'd before. No, honestly, I really haven't. I yeah. guess everything is watered? Question mark? It really doesn't look like it's watered, but okay. I don't trust you. Uh. And no, you'll never get your water. It's forbidden. Yeah. You are forever yeah. to remain thirsty. Well, can I have Sprite then? Best we can do is <laughs> seltzer water. I'll take it. All right. It, it, there's a lot of carbon in it we, to make it extra sour. Uh, to make you extra miserable. Because I, because I hate you. Oh, I didn't know you hated me. No, I don't. <laughs> the R the the RP stops when I when I think you're actually being sad. <laughs> no, that's acting. I know. <laughs> uh, Tingle Radish. God, I fucking hate that name. <laughs> I like that name. I hate that name. <laughs> It's okay, Tingle Radish. I like you for both of us. I'm going to kill you, Tingle Radish. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm going no! to... <laughs> Tingle Radish was my name in high school. Wait, what the... Shit, did I put all the... Shit. I didn't mean to do it like this. There we go. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> um, okay, I'm just gonna tell my Meaver story. Um, so, I've shown you Underpuff. I've shown you stuff I made of Underpuff. We did that when we first were uh, talking in Twitter DMs. I showed you some of the stuff I made. Um, what I didn't show you was the pre-boot version of it. Because what I showed you was stuff from Reboot. My second attempt at it. My first attempt at Underpuff was drawn... Alright, I mean, there's more further context needed. Our computer at home was really bad. That shit was so bad, you would wait ten... You would t wait a solid three minutes just for the browser to open. And it couldn't run the Undertale demo. It was fucking horrid. It was awful. It was a piece of junk. 
so much of a piece of junk my wii u that i got for christmas was a better means of browsing the internet and using it than our actual computer so i never used that computer for anything and i used the wii u for everything and i found a lot of ways to uh <laughs> to do basic internet shit <laughs> even like um even stuff like watching YouTube and all the all the like of that and listening to MP3 files, I had the means to like do that. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, with all that said, um, one of the th one of the things I want to do is make an Undertale AU because I would seen like a bunch of like Undertale AU AUs at the time because I was way into the Undertale fandom and I wanted to make one. I wanted to make one for myself. Because the one I wanted was a Kirby Cross Undertale AU. And there had been a Mario Cross Undertale one called Undertoad. One for Sonic called Sonic Adventure Grand. There was one for Smash Bros called Smash Tail. I took a lot of inspiration from those. And I wanted to make one for Kirby. Because Kirby was my favorite franchise. It was super in Undertale. Super in the Kirby. Just works. Um, so when I wanted to make it, I had no means to do it. Smash Tail, yeah, the, the, the original creator, by the way, fucking hates Smash Tail now. <laughs> For the record, he thinks it was one of the worst things he ever worked on. <laughs> I should, and I know this because I know the creator of Smash Tail. Not like super personally, we're more like acquaintances. But, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> it's an unfortunate title, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a very unfortunate name. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, so... I couldn't work on the computer because I had like like I said, I think it was a piece of junk. It would like it would be a nightmare working on that. However, with my Wii U, I noticed on the eShop one day there was a little software called Pixel Maker that I could use. And it was like entirely by hand. I couldn't like up I couldn't like upload like actual files or anything. They actually added SD card support for it later on, but when it first came on to the Wii U, there was nothing, you, you, everything was locked to the Wii U. So I made all the panels like on the Wii U, like every panel like was sprited by me. I had sprite sheets, I was copying shit over like all this other like shit. It was possible to make it, it was just really strenuous to do so. And to get it off of the Wii U, there was a method that I found I could do because you can access Miiverse through your internet browser. And like take the image links and put them on Imgur, which is where like everyone uploaded their uh, sprite comic I use. So I went through all my panels after I handmade all of them on a Wii U, took screenshots of them and saved them to the Miiverse gallery on my profile. And then I would go into the Wii U's internet browser, individually copy every single url for the image links post those into imgur to upload them to imgur and that was how i did the first seven parts of underpuff on a wii u god damn <laughs> yeah <laughs> and it was a very tedious process that's some fucking dedication i was i was on that shit bro i was on the undertale shit so goddamn hard so eventually i realized what i had wrote in was crap so i rebooted it and at this point i had an actual fucking computer to work with <laughs> committed to the craft absolutely actually no i made a few reboot parts in this same way too except i used the sd card <laughs> functionality because when you screenshot shit to your meverse album um it's jpegged instead of PNG. So it was really like gritty and blurry and it didn't look very good. <laughs> so I did do that just to fix that. But outside of that, yeah. <laughs> that that was all me, baby. If Meryl was here, they could back me up just as much because they witnessed it because I know them from the Undertale community. Why am I inside my house? Okay, so I guess I need to go. T I still need to talk to Estina. I didn't even do that. Or asshole. No, honestly, after um, after I uh, 
Probably after like next harvest, next time I harvest shit, like we should be good to go to the actual like quest and shit. Oh my god, we're gonna finally save emo. <laughs> we're gonna finally save emo. <laughs> Three thousand fucking years. <laughs> She's just like, help me. <laughs> I'm going to die soon. Someone help. I don't want to be on. I don't want to do only fins. I don't want to do only fins or finsley. I don't want to do any of that. But you know the entire Undertale community. I swear I don't. There were two like. Honest to God, when it comes to the AU, um, sector of things, you uh, there were like two halves. There were like AUs like a glitch tail, like um after tail, like hand drawn AUs, and then there was the sprite AUs. I was part of the sprite AUs, and you didn't really interact much with the, uh, and we really didn't, like interact much with the other half of things. A large in part due to the fact that, especially with things like glitch tail, um, we all thought it was crap. <laughs> <laughs> and like it, it, these days people are starting to realize that glitch tail really wasn't that good I've seen videos like um I've seen videos in my recommended like talking about it and like saying that it was kind of like really poorly written and we just didn't interact too much because most of the time um people on that side just really uh weren't the nicest people <laughs> to put it bluntly <laughs> So I know the Sprite AU half of things, but the other, but the other half, uh, not so much. And they definitely didn't pay much mind to my fucking Kirby Undertale AU bullshit. Uh. Anyways, um, right, I'm going to pneumonia. <laughs> this has been a really fun stream. <laughs> I've only had pneumonia once in my life and I hated it. Oh, same. I had it when I was like in second, third grade and I like it was just nothing but just coughing for so long. I had it for like a week when I was in third grade. Yeah. And I was miserable. But after like day three, I was feeling better. And my mom was like, mm, still have a fever. You should stay home. And I'm like, but I'm feeling better. And she was like, no, you're staying home. And I was like, okay, TV all day. <laughs> When I had pneumonia, it was also around third grade. Um, I um, I wanted to uh, uh, when I had pneumonia, like I wanted to like stop myself from coughing because it was it, it was like driving me so mad. And in order to do so, I had recently played SpongeBob, um, Creature from the Krusty Krab. <laughs> And like I remembered like the mini game with like plankton ripping signs off of like various restaurants and for some reason like I was combating my coughs like through a similar method of like just like force like and a gauge on the sign everything in like in my mind to like stave off my cough and like that's like my most vivid memory of me having pneumonia. <laughs> Monsters coming out my of most heaven's vivid egg. memory of any ill my most vivid memory of having any kind of illness was my recent battles with bronchitis and I hated it mm. uh, you're you're like fully better off of that by the way uh, I, th I think I'm not having breathing issues anymore like I did post me having COVID in December yeah. but um I'm I'm doing better. I haven't had a relapse of it since November. Alrighty, that makes me happy to hear. I fucking hate bronchitis. Understandable. My one of my moms had it too. They were equally miserable. Mm. I, why is this man standing this way? This man, this man is just far, they, those legs are just as far apart as they could be, why? He's doing squats. Based after a merchant pal of mine. Were they injured? 
Uh. Hmm. Yeah, it's getting lots to come out of there since we last went inside. Hmm. It's like the gentleman said that the monsters have been growing more active recently. And now people are reporting sightings of them outside of Avon's egg. You think they're up to something? At this point in time, there is no way to even guess what that goal might be. The monsters only... Uh, I'm gonna search on my own spit. The monsters are only being sighted on the outskirts of town. But who knows how long it'll be before they decide to break the threshold again. More and more folk are noting sightings, and it's starting to cause no small amount of unrest. This is why I came to talk with Asshole and see if there any, wasn't anything to be done about it. For now, I'm considering expanding usual patrol route and extending arrow spent patrolling. I cannot say this will be enough to ease everyone's nerves. But for now, it's most we can do. Why are you Russian? <laughs> But couldn't you go into Heaven's Egg again like you did before? Do that crazy anime shit? Everyone saw it, by the way. Like, we could see it from here. That was some sick-ass shit. Why didn't you do that earlier? Why didn't you do that to kill your girlfriend? Your dead girlfriend. Your girlfriend that's dead. Dead girlfriend. <laughs> Forgot that this game unironically has an egg as an actual landmark. <laughs> Does. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Let's just hope all this malarkey comes down after a day or two. I promise you we will resolve this issue. Please hang tight. The reassurance is enough to give me confidence, asshole. Just like when you killed your girlfriend with those sick-ass anime moves. You should be really confident with that. <laughs> <laughs> You're amazing at girlfriend killing. <laughs> You give a, we know you'll protect our village from anyone who, from any female who wants to have romantic involvement with anybody. <laughs> There's no girlfriends in pneumonia. Everyone's single as shit. We all adopt. Why do you think we have a fucking orphanage? <laughs> we just kidnap children. We just kill that. We just kidnap children off the street and we just bring them here. <laughs> I feel like you're just, um, I feel like you're just in awe of the asshole and just staring at him the whole time. And that's why you've been quiet. Oh no, I'm quiet because I'm getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to, do you want to stream on the three hour arc? Okay. Okay. You have 26 minutes. I believe in you, Mila. <laughs> She's not here know. anymore. That should have been the end of it. It's here we are with dragons giving trouble once again. And now they're piss colored. Why? Why do they have weird firearms? What kind of fucking dragon is that? Only we knew what they wanted. I agree. We must do something regardless. We need to resolve the issue and put our hearts of downfall at ease again. Now is not time to get complacent. Remember, you're not alone. I've been listening to this entire conversation, I promise. I have not been talking to a rose bush in my head the entire time. <laughs> I'm just I'm just a little flower on your shoulder. <laughs> Always Literally. Dying. Literally. Never ending. Literally. <laughs> like literally. Like literally, you killed your girlfriend. Like sick of anime rules. Like I literally, hate it. she's literally dead. I hate it. <laughs> literally, you like literally have like, like mental trauma now and literally need a therapist. Like, <laughs> like OMG, you have PTSD. That's so cool and trendy. And oh my god, you have. All the cool apps for killing your girlfriend too. My favorite is um girlbegone.com. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite spot on the dark web. How did you know? 
Oh my god. <laughs> OMG, you had PTSD, you had me rolling internally. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I would be extremely grateful if it is. I let Argus Brigade know we have investigating Heaven's Egg. It may take time to relay message to everyone. Let's make them trip another day. Let I have egg related, related trauma. <laughs> there are no therapists in Russia. <laughs> we have poor mental health. Not as bad as Japan, though. <laughs> Uh, my CC popping off. <laughs> at least, uh, at least I'm not that fish. Am I right? <laughs> uh, I love that you're just completely going with all of the jokes I've made. Makes me happy. All the dumb voices and pyromaniacs and all. Anyway, let's go visit an orphanage for kidnap kids now. These children are our meals. <laughs> they are our meals, they are labor. You think tower get built in day? By our hands? They are made of soy. These are not the hands of a builder. They are the hands of a girlfriend killer. I'm too dumb to keep following jokes sometimes. Don't worry, I don't shut up about them. Once I have a joke, it's just locked in permanently. And I won't shut up about it until people tell me to shut up. Mila has not done that yet. But I also will not shut Our up on... Uh, what I also will not shut up about is Estina's goddamn fucking hips, Jesus. <laughs> uh, continue your joke, Mil Mil. Please, I want to hear it. Our children are made of soy. <laughs> soy children good for vegetarian. <laughs> it is soy people, like from Adventure Time. You watch that American cartoon? Yeah. <laughs> you also watch it regular show? <laughs> we do not watch that Steven... That show's not very regular, yeah. <laughs> we do not watch Steven Universe in Russia because being gay is banned. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we even we even banned the rainbow from Russia. We do not know why crops are suffering. <laughs> Room for Crab lots of soy. black and white. <laughs> Room for lots of soy with those hips. I mean, if, if in, in that case, I'm soy. <laughs> I'm soy. Put me in those hips. <laughs> hey yo. Uh, yeah. I like her tight. I like her. I mean, I like her too, but I like her tights. <laughs> they have like, like slits it. in the back. I would like them on the floor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that too much? Genuinely tell me if that's too much. No, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm like I'm like what what what's our tolerance for horny? What's our tolerance for horny? <laughs> Damn, circuit said you need water, bud. Fine. Mm. I was just saying I liked her tights. <laughs> God damn. I'm just saying I want her to sit on my face. I don't understand what the problem is. <laughs> Stretch. I gotta keep myself limber Stretch. for Estina. I gotta keep stretching. It's for pussies. Uh, is it Estina's? All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm getting a good stretch. I'm putting the legs on the. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was a good one. Okay. 
Uh, wait, if it's redeemed twice, does Milmo have to drink two? Only if you redeem it on her channel right now. <laughs> Go redeem a hydrate redeem on her channel right now. Ugh. Check and see if anyone does it. <laughs> I will. I'm scared. I don't have I water, I have Sprite. I don't even know what Tina's talking about right now. I've been too busy thinking about what I want her hips to do with me. <laughs> yeah. The reason I ask is because head te the head teacher has approached me about it. Yes, if I'd be okay with taking over the orphanage. Like, conquering it. They want a violent conquest. I don't think they heard my backstory earlier. <laughs> Me to give the children swords. <laughs> We're going to arm the children <laughs> to fight the dragons. They do it in anime. Works here too, right? <laughs> Not the person everyone thinks I am. Because you were the shadow assassin? Because you were Shadow the Hedgehog? I don't know what it's like to live a normal, happy childhood. <laughs> I don't know what it means to feel a parent's love. I was wielding a sword and taking lies from the moment I could string a sentence together. But you're great with the kids. Anyone can learn to look after kids, but I'll never be able to learn how to love them as my own. No matter how many books I read or how many people might try to explain it to me. A person with no parents like me will never be able to understand a parent's love. I've been at the orphanage for years now. Well, at best, I'm just a shell of a parent figure. Someone like that isn't fit to be a head teacher of an orphanage. She had to turn around to mask the hips, and I can actually focus. <laughs> can't. Okay, can't be redeemed. She is not live. Aw, oh, damn. Well. I'm not drinking shit. <laughs> I'm gonna be dehydrated and die in the desert. Fuck you. <laughs> Let's fucking go, Fl Rose Witch. Nah, I'm a cactus witch. <laughs> I'm a wilting plant. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> what do you think about that, Obama? I'm a wilting plant. <laughs> okay. It's fine, it's the truth. You don't need to try and console me. I spent most of my life hiding in the shadows, committing dishonorable deeds. It's not fucking prostitution. Get your mind out of the goddamn gutter. <sighs> I can't take back the things that I've done. I've it's... committed tax evasion. <laughs> Twice. It's iconic. I'm so badass. I'm so fat ass. Wait, what? <laughs> that's where all that that's how I got these hips. I could I committed tax evasion and the money <laughs> went to my hips. <laughs> it went to ass enlargement surgery. <laughs> right. <laughs> There was this thing I saw in GoFundMe a while back. This was like back in like 2012. And um, there was this like GoFundMe project called Fund My Ass. <laughs> where uh, it was literally a woman who was like, I want to test uh, how much... Uh, how much more I'll get laid if I get an ass enlargement surgery and it was stupid <laughs> <laughs> Did it get funded? No Low-key surprised at that not gonna lie Thought like she was gonna post her ass online True she should add some stretch goals <laughs> we'll, cre we'll create only ass. Only ass. <laughs> we'll create assly. 
It'll be only ass because all the mass will come from her tits. It's just moving it over. Yeah. I'm sure that I'm sure that's how the human body works. 100%. Mm -hmm. Literally. You move fat from a different part of your body into like another part. I had a family friend who uh, survived breast cancer. One of her uh, boobs was gone, and she, they took like her stomach fat and made a whole new boob with it. <laughs> Today I learned. I so, think CC awesome. is lost. I think CC is lusting after Tina too. <laughs> Damn, I love women who could kill me. I need a woman who can duel me to the death. Huh? Fat is multifunctional. Good to know. For some reason, I it scares only... me coming from you, Circuit. I I think they only use it in like severe situations similar like or situations where like it's needed like a breast cancer survivor or uh something like that where they're moving the fat to a different part of their body i don't think it's super uh, frequent but mm. hey it's a thing <laughs> today we learned i We're imagine if someone about. lost a, i imagine if someone lost a butt cheek the same thing would happen <laughs> We're learning a lot about the human body today. Did you know you can also, um, that you're, you can replace certain parts of your heart with animal parts? Uh, yes. I know, like, pig hearts and stuff is a thing. My grandmother had that done. And it was weird. Chair took out her sword, but we didn't act much with it. Were y'all like fencing? <laughs> oh yeah, actually yeah, chair does uh chair does fence. Uh, that's a person me and CC no mill. I am a taco. You're not a burrito? No. I think there was some news about a guy who used a backpack as a heart some time ago. Bro, what? A backpack? Weird. Her LARP sword for Dini. Oh. Gotcha. Weirdest things that can be used as a heart. Come on, Google. It's hardwood. I kind of just karate chopped it until he got an actual heart. Survived. Just look at, like, backpack heart. That's what I'm more curious on right now. I realized that kind of hurt and stopped. <laughs> if Dora was using her backpack as a heart, would the would the song it say, sings be like heartbeat, 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 oh. <laughs> heartbeat, heartbeat? No, he he, uh, uh, Circuit was telling a. Real story, there was a... Hold up while this loads. Well, I didn't but doubt there it was, was a guy, real. There was a guy whose heart... Um... Who, the backpack you was you Backpack powers heart transplants... Or backpack powers heart transplant patients temporary replacement. Hmm. Huh. I, I was wondering if, like, the fucking, like... There was some, like, mechanism, like... Making the backpack like pump his blood for him instead of powering the transplant. Went to his room this morning, thinking it was about time he got out of bed, but by that time he was already gone. I don't believe it. He's the worst of all of us getting out of bed in the morning. Although, just looking for him right now, but there's no sign of him yet. See, no one has any clues. There has to be some kind of clue. He was acting different before we left. It could be something small. Did he kill anyone in surveillance? <clears throat> Actually, he was looking for his shovel last night. Thought he was getting out for a play date with you two today. We hadn't decided what we were gonna play yet. Buried Alive was next week. <laughs> Oh, 
What? What else can you do with a shovel except dig? <laughs> Is he going to murder fucking Milika's parents with a shovel? <laughs> Maybe. Drank <laughs> him. The next shadow assassin. <laughs> I have another random fun fact. Give it to me. Did you know in America, a jar of Nutella is bought every 2.5 seconds? Oh, huh. tracks. <laughs> what state is it the most frequent in? Uh, let me Google that. Which state uh, buys the most How's Nutella? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, it says here Cali. It says where? It says here that it's Cali. Oh, California. That makes sense. Population density. So the country Ugh. that is... The country that has the most, like, hazelnut stuff is Turkey. Are hazelnuts native to Turkey? Um, let me check. A whopping 82% of the world's hazelnuts come from Turkey. Okay, then that makes perfect sense then. Hmm. Hmm. But, uh, alrighty. Uh, all the fun facts and funny jokes aside, this one, the little rose bush is getting all tired. And I think this is a good place for us to wrap up for the night. Uh, so, well, that being said, thank you, Mill, for coming along. I'm glad you had a good time just chilling and vibing. Tell. And, uh, Nutella, that's what you said. <laughs> but I'm glad you had a good time just chilling and vibing. It was good to just have you on stream for a little bit. I'd be totally down to do this, uh next uh, week's Harvest Cell stream if you're available and you want to, obviously. I see... E. I think... <laughs> I'm... Your mic is peaking a lot or something. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah. I said I will see. Okay. I'll contact you whenever, but if you just want to chill and watch, I'm completely fine with that. It was just nice having you here and talking to you the whole time. It was really, really fun. <laughs> I need to bring more food. <laughs> you probably should. <laughs> but I need alrighty. to grow. I'm gonna go ahead and let you go, Mill Mill. You have a good rest of your night. You sleep well, okay? Okay. Thank you for having me. Of Bye. course. Love you. Blood will have left. And there left. she goes. Alrighty. Ah. Uh. Let's go ahead and find ourselves somebody to raid, shall we? I think I know exactly who we're doing today. Because I need to keep up the streak. I'm on that grind. You don't understand, Chief. You don't understand. We're raiding money. Raiding Bobby money again. <laughs> it's very important, okay? I, I have to do it. I have to. Every time. Every day. Until I hit 100. And then we go for 200. Because it's iconic. <laughs> Along in a bunch of other shit. I don't know. <laughs> but I hope everybody had a good day today. I certainly had a good time just chilling and vibing and having a good time. Uh, but, uh... Yeah, as for tomorrow, we're playing Ace Attorney Investigations. This is going to be a completely blind playthrough of mine. I've never played Investigations. I know some things about it, not a lot, but... Regardless of that, um... It's, it's going to be a good time. I think I'm going to have a good time just playing some Ace Attorney because I've been craving it lately. Apollo Justice got me in a mood. <laughs> but 
but and then after that we're gonna just have an art stream where well i'll be editing a video but viz is probably gonna be doing art because she's gonna be there too so yeah we got be a bit of a double collab week it's gonna be a good time and it's, i hope you all join me for it i i had a good time all right i i had a good time tonight i'm i'm all giddy and smiley about that i'm just thinking about how much fun i had i hope y'all had just as much fun too yeah, with all that being said, y'all have a good day, night, afternoon, wherever you are, whatever the fuck you're doing, and by God, y'all have a good one.